I'm going to draw the contour diagram for ethene, C2H4. Um, and again, for each carbon, it's trigonal planar, and the hybridization is sp2. Our bond angle is less than 120 because the repulsion of this double bond is greater between the double bond and single bond than between the two single bonds. So that's why this bond is greater than 120. As far as the lone pairs and what orbital they occupy, the lone pairs occupy the sp2 orbitals. Now I would like to um, draw this and I need a new sheet here. So first I'm going to, it's pretty complicated, so I'm going to draw a straight line and that's where my two carbons are going to go. I'm going to draw a line and this is going to be again very complicated the drawing. So I'm going to draw two lines straight up and one straight down from each carbon. And this is going to be from this point, I'm going to have some overlap between these two carbons. And that's going to be one of the bonds, which is going to be a sigma bond. And this bond is going to be sp2, both of those. So that takes care of the bond, one of the bonds between the carbon and the carbon. And then I'm going to draw some lines out from my carbons. Those are going to be the bonds, like I said, that are a little less than 120 degrees. These are also going to be sp2. And they'll end up being sigma. I'm going to put my two electrons in here. These are going to be the bonds between carbon and hydrogen. As I said, those are sp2 as well. So you can now see that each carbon is going to have the three sp2 orbitals all bonding, and that's going to be um, the trigonal planar. Let me bring in the hydrogens, one here, there's going to be four of them. So these are my four hydrogens. These are also sigma bonds. Now, if you remember, we had a pair of electrons that were the bond between uh, the two carbons. Those, there's uh, extra electrons, and they were not part of the sp2 bond or orbital. So we're going to draw those as regular p orbitals. So I'm going to have my p orbital and it's a normal p orbital kind of that figure eight going up and down from each carbon each one of these has only one electron on it 
And what happens is now these orbitals start to bend and overlap with one another. And what we end up having is that looks like two bonds here, but it's really one. And that is our pi bond. Okay, so this is the top part of the pi and the bottom part of the pi. So that those two together make one bond, and then the sigma makes the other bond. So this is C2H4. The hybridization is sp2. We are now seeing sigma and pi bonds involved. They're different. And the shape is trigonal planar with respect to each carbon.